Hey, this is Stephen Platinum, your friend in wrestling with Platinum versus Raw. This is from April 19th, 2021. Last week's post-WrestleMania show was atrocious. This one is not atrocious, but also not good. Um, <laughs> very strange choices being made. We're at the Yingling Center, Tampa, Florida. And we've got hmm, Adnan Verk, Byron Saxton, and Corey Graves. None of whom were bad commentators by any stretch, but not a lot of magic going on. Then again, they don't have the disadvantage that Samoa Joe had of having to call absolute weird crap. Um, at least not yet. So we go right to the ring and out comes Drew McIntyre with a big entrance. We see how he earned a uh, backlash title shot from Bobby Lashley and was then attacked by Retribution members T-Bar and Mace, who were apparently hired by MVP. Where is Slapjack? Where is Slapjack? I'm a huge, huge Slapjack fan, as anybody who listens to this knows. And, whoops, let me plug in the microphone. That'll make things a little easier. Yay! Is that working? It sure is. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Yeah, there it goes. Uh, let me make sure. Crap. You know what? <laughs> We're okay. <coughs> so, Drew... <laughs> <clears throat> talks about opportunities and how Strowman and Orton wanted title shots and made the triple threat. So we rehash last week's show. What the fuck? MVP comes to address the allegations. Lashley put him to sleep at WrestleMania 37. On and on and on. We're starting with this thing where we talk all the time at Raw. Hate that. Um, and uh, T-Bar and Mace attack they do their double choke slam thing <clears throat> and then they exit the ring and then they walk past MVP without saying anything MVP smirks okay Kevin Patrick stops T-Bar and Mace they, they're, they're confident about finishing off Drew later on because they're going to have a handicap match we get a replay of what happened uh, Drew McIntyre stops Adam Pierce. Make that match happen. Okay. Pierce says he needs a tag team partner. Drew insists he'll be fine on his own and storms off. <clears throat> one half of the show to build up the other half of the show. Sin number one. Viking Raiders against Cedric Alexander and Shelton Benjamin, uh, which is a match we had last week, and um, Viking Raiders win again. The fuck? Um, Patrick is backstage with Randy Orton. He asks if the fiend is no more. Orton says to mark his words, the fiend will never be seen or heard from in WWE. As long as Orton is around. Hmm. Riddle rides up, congratulating Orton. They, um... Riddle suggests they form a tag team called RK Bro. God, this is so fucking bad, man. Um, back from the break, Randy Orton's talking to Adam Pierce about Riddle. He wants him in the ring. One half of the show to promote the other half of the show. We don't have one single thing promoted really for backlash beyond um, the title match, but that didn't happen on this show. So we show how Charlotte Flair attacked Asuka and Rhea Ripley. Here comes Charlotte Flair back to the ring. Uh, and then we go to commercial. And back from the break. Cuts a promo. Does her thing. She's the uh, giving the opportunities. What? Um, talks everybody down. Flair won't let Asuka speak. Asuka yells at her to shut up. Okay. Um, Orton is walking backstage. Riddle flies past him on a scooter. Orton is seething. Coming up, Riddle versus Orton back to commercial. <clears throat> we come back. Riddle versus Orton. They have themselves a match. 
Um, Orton goes for the RKO, and Riddle grabs him in a crucifix pin and pins him. Big win. Woo! Everybody gets to beat Orton, though, at some point. And this is your time. Adam Pierce is backstage with Seamus. Seamus says he's going to do an open challenge. Nia Jax and Shayna Baszler against Lana and Naomi. You already know who's winning this, right? It's non-title. There's your hint. Um, Naomi uh, covers Baszler, who loses to everybody now. So La Lana and Naomi celebrate. <clears throat> and um, Neo Jax was going after Rose and Brooke. And Lana and Naomi dance in the ring. Um, they show us, the announcers do, how Bad Money and Damian Priest defeated The Miz and John Morrison at WrestleMania 37. And we see Priest and Bunny's lengthy post-match comments. The announcers note that Bunny's 2022 tour is already sold out. Unlike WrestleMania. Still to come, we're going to have a Miz TV to celebrate the season premiere of Miss and Mrs. Oi, fucking they. So we have uh, Miz introduce his wife. They go on and on. Miz raises a toast. Out comes Damian Priest. Priest is upset about last week and how they had him in a handicap match. Maurice says something in French. Um, he can have a match tonight. So it's going to be, again, one half of the show promoting the other half, Miz against... Eventually, they're going to have to do these matches, aren't they? New Day's walking backstage. Riddle rides up on his scooter again. They give him props for his win over Orton. They do some comedy together. Yay. Um, they go to commercial. They come back. Elias versus Kofi Kingston. They have a match. Um, Elias wins. What? Okay. The New Day regroup. I guess that's who we're feuding with next. Boy. Alexa Bliss is backstage at her playground with her new friend, Lily. Come back from commercial, and there's Alexa's playground. Talks a lot about, she says she's a little girl, and Lily was her doll since back in the day, and Bliss turned on the fiend, and, uh, snaps at the camera. We see what happened earlier tonight with Dana Brooke, Mandy Rose, Nia Jax, and Shayna Baszler. <sighs> Jax comes up to them yelling, hey, and they walk away. Baszler's right behind Jax. Angel Garza appears next to Jax. He asks what she sees in Reginald. Garza walks off as Jazz starts, J Jax starts to think about it. Got our two-on-one handicap match, Mason T-Bar against Drew McIntyre, but, oh my goodness. Um, they double-team him in the corner eventually, they get dehued. Um, music interrupts, here comes Braun Strowman. We go to commercial with Strowman yelling at them. Back from the break, and now we have a tag match. I don't know why that's happening. But we have a tag match. Um, Drew snaps and pulls one of their masks off. Braun pulls the other mask off, so they've been unmasked. So technically, T-Bar and Mace won twice because they won by DQ. Okay. Uh, Miz and Maurice are walking backstage. we got Damian Priest versus The Miz. Um, Damien Priest wins in spite of Maurice's best attempts to interfere. Whew. Asuka's backstage celebrating. Uh, we got Seamus in the ring. He calls out everyone out. Music hits. It's uh, Humberto. Okay. Seamus attacks him from behind when he poses. Bro kicks him. Poses. Charlotte Flair is warming up for the main event in the back. We got Oscar against Charlotte Flair. Long story short, Rhea Ripley's watching, and then at one point she kind of messes up the figure eight for Flair. Oscar wins, and then Charlotte beats up a referee and keeps beating him up when the other referees try to stop. This is fucking shit. It is so bad, man. <sighs> 